Hi. Well, I can either talk from my heart or I can read from the paper. It doesn't matter. It's all the same information. So, I'm 52 and I've been gaslit and I have a dark and a husband. And I was working on trying to talk about gaslighting and narcissism but my thoughts just won't let me to put it together so I can't and I won't but I will one day so I have to take you back about five years I guess I lost my dad in December of 2019 and I took my dad to the I'm also a PSW and I took a lot of people to the light because I don't believe that anybody should die alone. I don't want to die alone, but I'm probably gonna because my kids are unhealthy, apparently. They just, one day, maybe they'll care again and realize that I've been bombarded with not only PTSD, but I have complex PTSD. So again, in 2014, December, I lost my dad. In January, uh, we had a memorial for my dad. In February, on family day, my son went into complete renal failure. In May of 2015, we buried my dad. I lowered him into the ground with my brother. He was cremated. Don't know if I should have done that. My brother and I haven't seen eye to eye, and I really hope that he can forgive himself so he can forgive others to move on and, and, and enjoy our family that we have left. And maybe more will come and join. Um, in the June, on the 9th of 2015, I put my dog down, a lab, 12 years old, pure white, beautiful lab son. On Canada Day, my mother fell and broke her shoulder. Her dog took her to her And she hasn't been the same since. A couple years later, she, um, she broke her other shoulder. Um, she fell up north. And, um, and so my, I got married three years ago. And there's just so much that have happened. So I'm going to give you a few things on post-traumatic stress disorder because, wow. <laughs> so, I'm gonna bring you back to when my kids were little, because at that point, I remember every time I went on the highway, I'd fear something happening to me, and if something happened to me, who would take care of my kids? Because my kids had an unhealthy dad, and it's not his fault, he was traumatized as a child too. So, I'm really at a loss here for what to do um anyways so here's some so intense feelings of distress when reminded this is for post-traumatic stress extreme physical reactions nausea sweating pounding hard i've been throwing up for a year and a half of my life two years maybe and it's because now i have an eating disorder on top of the ptsd on top of the narcissism on top of the gaslighting and now i have an eating disorder from all of us too. So anyway, extreme physical reactions, nausea, sweating, pounding heart, definitely have that, vomiting, invasive, upsetting memories of a tragedy, many tragedies, many events, many flashbacks, nightmares, loss of interest in daily activities, absolutely. Feeling emotional, numb and detached, a sense of no, no, no normalcy, exactly. I've detached myself, I put myself in a cave. Avoidance, definitely. I avoid everything and everybody to avoid getting hurt. Difficulty in remembering certain tragic events, yes. And no, they're all bombarding in my head. So now I'm gonna give you a few with a complex PTSD. Shame or guilt, yep. Difficulty controlling emotions. Periods of losing attention, physical symptoms. Cutting off from family and friends, relationship difficulties, destructive or risky behavior, alcohol and drug use, suicidal thoughts and ideations. I'm not suicidal. I did have ideations at one time. 
I can also tell you that I remember cutting up my wedding dress into a thousand pieces and plastering it all over his car. Why? Because I couldn't figure anything out. He's also a compulsive liar, which runs into gaslighting and the um, narcissistic behavior on top of the PTSD and the complex. complex. So, I, I'm not educated by any means. I have a lot of experience. I have one child who is in the autistic spectrum second child who has bipolar and my third my daughter I never diagnosed because I didn't want to give her a diagnosis because I should have I guess anyhow I do believe that um, the power greater than us is God and God is going to help me and my family to get better and I believe this and everybody should believe this because first of all do you know what it's like to have have PTSD or be diagnosed during COVID? These people who are dealing with these narcissistic gaslighting people, you're dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder, you're dealing with children home with autism, and in the spectrum, homeschooling, like how do people survive? How are people getting by with all this abuse that's going on in the world? It's just horrific. Horrific, horrific, horrific. I am going to help myself. I need help from you. I'd like to find a new name because I think a name, a good name is, you know, drag some attention. Anyways, if you happen to want to help me or you give me some ideas, like and subscribe to my, my uh, YouTube account. And um, I'm going to put out some more stuff on PTSD and complex PTSD and I'm going to leave the gaslighting and the um, narcissism up to the people who know their stuff. Narcology, way to go man. You really, really grab my thoughts. A few other women, you're grabbing my thoughts. The men, you are making me now know that it's not just in women. It's happening to men and children all around us and I'm going to move a mountain or two maybe three, maybe four. I'm going to travel around and I'm going to make awareness on such abuse. Um, I'm also a PSW of 30 years and I cannot wait to get back to take care of my mother till her end, ending date. She is in God's hands and God only has that date. And I'm hoping that she can get past this because she too was destructed by the narcissist and the gas lighter. And I will be married three years in July 22nd, 2017. This is July and I am going to celebrate being single because I am done with being abused over and over and over and over again. I have my little Ariel. She's my little best friend and she's helped me. And you know, we found this on the side of the street, her dad and I, and she likes to sit in here, and so do I. It's actually quite comfortable, and I'm sitting back, and I can put my legs up, and show you my battle scars from falling. Got one there. I got one on my other hand, right about there. That's from falling. I literally fainted. I've never fainted in my life. I totally passed right out hit the ground and I don't know. I don't know what happened. I just know I must have went down in an awkward position because I got cut on my outside of my hand, my inside of my arm, and my other leg. And bruising. So if anybody can help me out and um, I am going to flip you to heaven for a minute because heaven is a beautiful place and I talk to heaven all the time. Wow. Look at heaven. Isn't that the most amazing view. And I'm going there. I am going there. I am. Are you? Oh, man. This just makes me feel amazing. I'm back. Love and light to everybody. And please help me. I need help. This has been going on way too many years. This is... I'm 52, and I think I've had PTSD for a very long time, and that on top of everything is not a good thing. 
it's not a good thing. I am completely drained and I just want to stop losing weight, stop throwing up, and aren't I beautiful? You know, I've been through the world of wars and I'm 52 and I feel amazing today. God bless everybody, love and light, and don't forget to subscribe and like and comment below on how maybe you could help me. God bless to all, love and light, and I'm putting out a video too, and when I get a chance, just about me and my dog. God bless everybody, love and light. Ha <laughs> ha.